you guys welcome back to my channel um i am going to be doing a hair review for best best lace wigs i can never say their name right so i recently bought some hair from them a wig from them and uh, yeah i'm going to be doing a review on that wig so the wig i got is the number gsw145 that's the wig number. I, I believe if you type that in in their search thing at the top of their website, the wig will pop up. So if you guys want to find it or you could just click the link in my description box. But this is the package that the wig came in. Can you guys see? There it goes. It also came with a return and exchange form just in case you get the wig and you don't like it or you get it and it's not up to your standards or whatever. Whatever the reason may be. This is a um, return and exchange form. Don't cut the lace. Don't cut the lace. The wig did come with a, a cap. So that was a good thing because I didn't have to go and get one. So basically what I did was I washed the wig. I put it on my little styrofoam wig head thing. And I plucked my hairline. Did my eyes cross? <laughs> what? I plucked the hairline to look a little bit more natural um and it's funny because in the back of the wig um i wish i could show you guys i don't want to take it off though but in the back of the wig it has like a lace it's lace like if you wanted to um put the hair up like, like a ponytail it'll have the lace in the back so you can do that it comes with clips um i think there's a clip right here a clip right here and there's one in the back and it also comes with the um the what is it called the resizing clips inside you guys know what i'm talking about the clip the two clips that like goes around the cap and you clip it you guys know what i'm talking about if you have a wig or if you bought a wig before it should have those yeah okay so let me tell you about this wig this wig is awesome i'm gonna just say that most of the time i just buy hair um, I buy bundles and then I make them into wigs, but I just wanted to try something different and I went with them because this wig that I have on my head was only $100, so it was like a try, fail type thing, but I'm glad that I purchased it because I love this wig, like it doesn't shed. If you want to bleach the knots, then do that, feel free, but I didn't bleach the knots on mine. Um, I just got some powder that kind of go with my skin tone and um that no no i got some powder that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone and i just put it you know just dabbed it where the knots are so you won't be able to see the knots but that's what i did and honestly this hair is amazing i curled it i flat earned it i wasn't expecting this wig to be top notch but it's a pretty good wig for um, the price that it's at. Okay, so I have tons and tons of pros about this wig, but I only have one con, one. So the wig is not as full as I wanted it to be. And then again, you know, wanted it to be because the wig is, you know, $99. So, you know, you gotta, if you want good, you know, quality wigs, you gotta go with good quality money. <laughs> basically but um yeah the wig is a little bit thin but it doesn't appear to be thin it's only it only looks thin when you're putting it on your head like when you are playing with it washing it you know whatever you're doing with it but when you put it on like it doesn't appear to be thin you know you get what i'm saying so it's not noticeable to other people that it's thin but then again to you you know you would know but yeah, cause like, let me explain it. So like, um, when I wash the wig or something, you could tell that the tracks are like this far apart. And like when you flat iron it, you can, the, the part, the last track that goes to the lace, you can like, when you brush in it back, you can tell that the lace, you can see like the black track through the hair. Get what I'm saying? Like right here, you can see like the black track. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean by the the wig isn't as full as I thought it was going to be. But, um, 
then again it's okay like it's okay as long as the wig looks good on my head like as long as i can slay this wig on a day-to-day -day basis like it looks good so basically yeah i was just trying out their company and i would definitely go back and buy another wig um definitely so let me give you guys a little bit information on this wig so the hair color is 1b that is my natural hair color um the cap size is a small to medium um the lace color is light brown and the hair is silky straight indian hair indian hair okay so that is the details on this wig you guys like i definitely recommend that you go try it like if you're if you have never worn a wig before but you're like so so trying one and you want to try one like i would recommend this one and like with the whole hairline thing just it's not that hard like i taught myself how to customize a hairline i will make a video to show you guys how i customize my wig hairlines to look more natural um i could do that but if you want to try a wig and you know just I definitely recommend this wig for a first time wig so um yeah I will leave all of their information in the description box and I will leave all of the wig information in the description box just in case you kind of skip through the video and miss some of it because I do that sometimes so so that is it for this hair review you guys if you guys enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this um, if you guys do decide to buy this hair, please tag me, tag me on Instagram. Um, all of my social media sites are down in the description box, uh, Snapchat. I don't have a Twitter or a Facebook, but just tag me somewhere. <laughs> just tag me and let me know how do you like the hair and things like that. Um, so that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye.